Rebecca Castro and welcome to Unparked. I'm really excited to be here in Los Angeles, California because we're going to be catching up with some of my friends here. They're emerging artists from all walks of life. We're going to catch up with one of my friends, actor Monty Furlan, you might have seen him in NCIS LA, and Batman Dark Knight Rises. And we're going to catch up with jewelry designer Sherry Shabani. And we're also going to catch up with Elsa Violin. She has an exclusive performance for us tonight. Stay tuned. Hey, Masi, how are you? It's been a while since I've seen you. Buongiorno, bella, come stai? Bien, bien. Well, I haven't seen you around. I've seen you on TV and on a commercial just recently. Can you tell me about what you're up to? What's been going on in your life? Well, I just got back from Italy, actually, when I went on vacation to visit my family, and I also had the pleasure to shoot a movie in Ischia, which is a very exclusive island right next to Capri. So I have some good time in Italy. And I just got back a couple of weeks ago, and uh, there was a, a release of my latest movie, Blood of Redemption, with Dolph Lundgren, Billy Zane, and Vinnie Jones. Wow. Directed by Giorgio Serafini, a very nice Italian director. So that's what's going on pretty much. And, and then uh, I got killed on NCS Los Angeles <laughs> once again. <laughs> you got killed? What is this? It's like you have this like tough guy, bad guy mantra about you, but you're getting killed. Yeah. Well, Are you supposed to be killing people too? Oh yeah, I kill people <laughs> and then I get killed. You know, the, the, the bad guy never wins. <laughs> it never gets the girl. That is hilarious. Now, wait, so is this something that you've been wanting to do, is to play the bad guy, or how did this all happen? No, my background is comedy. <laughs> In Italy, I was a stand-up comedian, for real. <laughs> I know it's no. hard to believe, <laughs> but yes, that's what I was doing. I was, a, I was doing stand-up comedy in Italy, and for some reason, because of the space and because of the accent, I guess, it's easy for them to cast me as a villain, so. So your background is Italian? Correct. Complete, 100% Italian. Yes. You came from Italy. With a boat. With, in the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you came here, and you came here with a purpose to, to act, or was that kind of your whole no, thing? No, I came, or? when I came, it was in 98. I, I came, um, I went to Miami, because my brother was a chef in a very popular Italian restaurant called Tiramisu, oh. in South Beach, Miami. So, I fell in love with Miami. So I moved there. In How can you not fall in love with right. Miami, right? Right. <laughs> and um, I worked in the restaurant business, uh, in the restaurant industry with my brother for almost 10 years. Really? And then eventually I got tired of that and uh, I decided to go back to my passion, which is in the entertainment. And uh, I, I shot a couple of projects in Miami and then I realized there wasn't much going on in Miami, so I made the move and I came here to Hollywood. To Hollywood. And who you are? Killing people. Killing people left and, and right. Get away with it. <laughs> because I never go to jail, and I get paid for it. There is no one else in town who can pull off a scheme like this. No one else. Like I said, I just finished my recurring guest star on NCS Los Angeles, where That's I was right. I was torturing the, the the lead actors. One of the guy I electrocuted him. Really? Yes. How does that make LA Cool J. I, oh I, my god, I, yeah, really? I froze him up. <laughs> LL Cool J. Yes. Got beat up by Masi. Beat up. Uh, well, I, I, we, we throw him in the pool, and then when it was all wet, I attached the electric, you know, the, the wires, and, the, and I fried the guy. <laughs> but he didn't die, though. Because he's, you know, he's the lead of the show. He can't yeah. right? He's got to be saved. And then the other, his partner, um, Dix, his character name is Dix, I, I drew his tooth. Really? How does that make you feel? <laughs> like, I mean, do you feel... It makes me feel good. Did you, I <laughs> love it. I love it. I see. I love to see people in pain. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds no, I so bad. Don't. <laughs> So are these guys still That's friends? why people were laughing when I was a comedian because they were scared. I said, like, if you don't laugh, you know what you, oh you're going to get. Going somewhere? Yet. Where do you see yourself? As, as far as a, as a vision, mm -hmm. I, let me see, I vision driving down Sunset Boulevard. I see <laughs> a huge billboard 
with my face on it that says there is a new villain in town. That's awesome. I, I can see it. I just totally picture that right now. Right? Yeah, the bubble just came out of my head right now. I saw it. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be bad. Oh my God, that's awesome. But Masi. then again, I can't be a comedian if I keep, you know, that's having, right. you know, that's advertisement yeah. for, for uh, the villain. Make it work, man. Use your use your Italian roots and use it in your favor. Because I know you're rocking it on your filas over here. <laughs> I know, that's Italian. I wish, I see, if I was doing yoga, I could have done this, but I don't do yoga. You don't see. do yoga? You live in Los Angeles. No, Come I'm on. I'm getting cramped to <laughs> my shoulder. Well, yes, they're, they're the Italian color of the nice fila. Oh my God. So if you ever got it, by the way, I met her like for the pre-Emmy and uh, it was funny because she has an accent and I have an accent too. So we didn't understand each other. We had no idea what we really? were talking about. No, I'm just joking. Oh, no. But that was funny because she was talking to me with an accent. I was talking to her with an accent and the people around her were like, What the heck are the they subtitles? <laughs> they were looking for subtitles. Do an accent. Can you do an accent for us? You want me to do a Russian accent? Do a Russian accent. Russian accent is my favorite. Welcome to Moscow. <laughs> Masi, thank you so much for being here with us. I know I can talk to you for days, so we're going to go and finish our wine and hang out for Absolutely. a little bit. But thank you, and um, I look forward to seeing much more of your work. All right. Congratulations to you. High thank five. You. <laughs>